Hello, 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 sellers. I'm Kathy, and I love to be selling. Come on in. I am going to talk about such a great, great, great topic, and it is so important for sellers and sellers of all sizes, and that is climbing, climbing, climbing to the top of eBay search because ranking well on eBay search is really crucial for sales. And oftentimes when sellers come to me, it's, it's so frustrating. They're like, Kathy, Kathy, you know, I've got these listings up. I have these great products and it's great to have great products. Uh, we work so hard to source great products, uh, but it's a matter of sourcing products and products that are in demand, but that's not enough. Years ago on eBay, truthfully, and I mean years, like 15 years ago, you could really just, just list things and it sold because there was so much less competition. There were so few sites. There were such, 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 so many fewer sellers. Um, and back then too, uh, people would pay for things with cash. You would get envelopes with cash in the mail. I mean, it was really interesting and it has changed so much. I mean, there are hundreds of thousands of sellers on eBay. eBay is global. Um, there's also other sites. So ranking well in search, and what that means is that when somebody's looking to buy something on eBay, so they're typing in um, blue pen, they're typing in purple cell phone case, that your item is going to be on the first page of search. Um, you can think about it for yourself that when you're shopping on eBay, and this is for anything, whether it's a collectible item, whether it's clothing, whether it's a toy for a child, whether it's puzzles, is that very rarely will you go through multiple pages when you're looking for something, unless it is something that is very rare, very collectible, and you're sort of typing in general searches because you're not sure how the seller is going to be listing the item. But typically, particularly like, um, you know, brand name and you know your size, you know, you know the name of the puzzle, you know the name of the, uh, the, uh, the toy, um, you can even search things like, you know, toys for boys, age five, you know, that kind of thing is that you want to rank well and ranking well means that you're on the first page. And this is true on any platform, um, but particularly true on eBay. And there's things that you can do with or without an eBay store. And I'm going to talk about that to help you so that when you do your listing, that you land on that first page. Like, what can I do so that I land on that first page? Because what I want to do is have my item climb. That's why I did that. Climb to the top of eBay search. How are you, Diana? So good to see you. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about. So get right to work. I pulled up a search and I picked a pretty broad category, okay? Because I wanted to pick something where there was going to be a bunch of competition. And what I picked was free people dress. And you can do this with any category. You know, if you're trying to get to know a category, you know, search it and search it like a shopper. I did a very general search. So I did not include size. I did not include color. I did not include style. And typically, if you are searching for a clothing item, just like a puzzle or a toy, is that you're going to have a little more information. I'm going to know my size. Um, perhaps I might search medium and large. Um, I might be looking for, because we're going into spring, this is March of 2023, I might search pastel colors. But I just for the sake of this exercise, I did a very general search. And my search was free people dress because it's a huge category. And if you don't know, and this is another thing, um, when you're listing, it's worthwhile to look at so for instance, if you do source free people, which is a very popular brand, there are 73,000 free people dresses for sale on eBay. Now, of course, if I filtered more by color and by size, by length, whether it's a mini or a maxi, it's going to tighten that up. But that's a lot, which lets me know this is a very popular category with a lot of competition. And that's why I picked it. Um, just to see how we can rank well in eBay search for this large, broad category. And if you have categories that you'd like me to take a look at or do a future video on, please just comment, whether you're listening to this on Facebook or YouTube or my podcast, because I will definitely keep it in mind when I'm doing future videos. But I picked free people for this example. And this is what I wanted to show you. So this is free people for sale. And the search that I defaulted to was best match. 
Now, the reason I'm searching best match rather than newly listed or other filters that you can use in searching is best match is eBay's default search. If you are not aware of that, do keep that in mind when you are doing research searches on eBay, either on desktop or laptop or on the app, is that when you search on the app, if you're searching free people dress, eBay will default to best match. They will show you that first if you don't use any other kind of filters. And the same thing on the desktop. So it's well worth searching whatever product you're doing research on by best match to see what eBay is surfacing to you. And no surprise, the first two positions for this very popular category, and I was actually surprised that it was only two because there are 73,000 free people dresses, are sponsored listings, which is promoted listings. So that is why those two items, and again, very pretty dresses, good listings, and they're in promoted listings. I'm going to talk about that a little bit later, but I just wanted to point that out. Then the third, so you can be very close to the top on organic search. And I wanted to point that out. The third dress, very pretty dress, is not in promoted listings. And it is surfaced as the third. And the same thing with the fourth dress. Neither one of them are in promoted listings, or they may be in promoted listings, but the way they're showing here is an organic search. So if you don't know that, when you have an item in promoted listings, eBay shows it as promoted, like the first two ones they're sponsored, but you will also get placement in search with organic search. Not everything is promoted. So just so you're clear on that. And look at this third dress, okay? It's sort of a cranberry color. Um, very, very pretty. So free people, they do the size. New tiered mini festival dress. And I don't know if they're calling out festival as the style or if that's the name, because some of the dresses do have names. But again, very nice picture. I really see what the dress is and nice title on this. And then the one right below it, which I actually like the title on this one better because there's more information. So free people dress women's size small blush, which I like that because it is a blush peach. And then in the listing itself, you can use the drop down colors that eBay offers you. But it is a blush pink. So it's nice that in the title, she's calling out blush because someone might search that term. Beaded. It's got beaded at the waist. Sleeveless. I know the sleeve length. Fit and flare is the style. And if you're not familiar with fit and flare as a style, search it on the internet. A great place to get style names and to see styles is Pinterest. Pinterest has great examples you could do like women's dress styles and search it on Pinterest and you'll see some great boards. Um, I actually have one so you can follow me on Pinterest. I love to be selling. Um, and you'll see different dress styles is really, really helpful because people will search shift dress, fit and flare dress. Okay. So she's calling out the style. She's calling out beaded because it's got beaded accents at the waist, more of a party dress, but somebody might Go with a really cool dress like this with beads for the daytime, depending on what that look I'm trying to go for. Fit and flare. And it's a midi, which is good because I'm I'm thinking, you know what? This might not be a midi. <laughs> she might have made a mistake. Hang on. Let me take a look at this dress. <laughs> I don't want to get this seller in trouble. You know what? I think they made a mistake. I think it's a midi. But hang on a second. Let me make sure this is showing. Let me just pull it. Isn't that funny? I didn't catch that, but let me take a look at this. So hang on. And I think it is. I might message because I, I do. If I see um, if I see an error, I do message and let people know. This looks awfully short. Hang on a second. She's calling it a midi. Let's see if it is. So we're scrolling down. Beaded V-neck midi. She's calling it a midi. Now, see here, just to let you know. So in the item specifics, she is good seller using eBay's drop down med, um, menu. And she's pulling pink, even though in the title she's saying blush. Length is 36. Um, and I'm actually going to pull a tape measure. <laughs> My trusty tape measure. So 36. And I'm assuming. I'm going to message her. 36. It is a small. No, I think it is. Hang on a second. I'm going to go over here and stand up. Hang on a second. I think it depends. You know what? I think it's going to depend on her height. I'm going to message her because it looks awfully small for a midi. Isn't that funny? 
but she's calling it a midi hips length 36 and she's calling it a midi twice and isn't that funny the picture it does not look like a midi hang on a second let's take a look at this I'm just going to message her. Oh, it is a size small. So anyway, I take that back. So size small, 36. Yeah, 36 might be a midi. But notice in the title, she said blush. But in the item specific, she said pink. That's funny. Um, so hang on a second. And we will go back to the search, which is what I wanted. Isn't that funny? That just caught my eye. So let's go back to the big main search. Because you just hate to have a seller get an item not as described. I'm just going to message her and say, hey, I've got your dress in my video. Um, so here we go back to this. Um, but this is why we're looking at why are these rankings so well in best match? Okay, one, these two are sponsored. Just great picture, great color, and it's newly listed. And these are why these are showing well in best match is that they are newly listed. So eBay is showing them because they're brand newly listed, those two. Now, this one is not newly listed, and they're showing it. And again, this is best match. So you got to realize what the best match is. eBay doesn't know what I want because I did a very general search. So it's showing two sponsored dresses. Then it's got two newly listed, both very good, I mean, nice quality pictures and titles. And now it's showing me a gray dress that's been around for a while with sort of a medium price because they're not sure of what I want yet. So by looking at this, typically then I would start to filter. I'll be filtering by color and by size and that kind of thing. So what I want to point it out to you for standing out in eBay search is, one, promoter listings got the top placement. Two, the newly listed. And obviously you're only newly listed for a short period of time. And then eBay showing a variety of items. So what I can do as a seller to help eBay, so eBay can boost me, um, well and best match is that I'm doing a quality listing. And that's going to be a nice clear picture like the lady with the blush dress. It's on a hanger. I absolutely see what I'm getting. I see the nice beads. I see the pleats. I see everything. It's a good, clear picture. I like in the title, she's calling out blush. Then you've got the one right below it. And what I like what she did in this one is make it snappy slip midi dress. And my suspicion is that's the name of the style. So they research the name of the style. And sometimes with these brands, they do have names. So it's worth it just to search. Like this is a free people dress is free people, gray dress, and just see if they have names. The other thing when you're listing clothes, this is also true like with ornaments. This can be true, certainly true um, for table settings is sometimes like on the clothing, on, the, on the, um, the seam or the label, it will have the name of the style on it. So read the labels on the clothes and see if it's there. If it's the doll, the name of the doll could be on the foot. It could be on the back of the neck. If it's in the box, it'll have the name of the doll often on the box. This is the Antoinella doll. This is the Kathy doll. This is the Diana doll because people are going to search by that. If it's a brand they know like free people, they will search for. And what is this again? I'm sorry. I'm looking at this. So I was looking at the blush dress. This is the make it snappy and it is a slip dress. Another one where it's the style. So really look at things, you know, is it modern? Is it traditional? Is it retro? And again, if you are not sure of what those terms are, is it a shift, right? Is it a slip dress? Is go on Pinterest and you can search uh, dress styles. Same thing for the dolls, right? If it's a certain brand, let's say like it's a Marie Osmond doll which by the way, I don't think are selling that well anymore, is I can then go and look and look at the names, look at the things about it. Sometimes um, with companies, uh, puzzles, for instance, different styles of their puzzles are manufactured in different places, okay? All of that is important information to put in the title. If you see, if you look on desktop and if you look on the app, what do you see? You see the picture and you see the title and you see the price is how important those three are to engage your shopper. So really look at what your first picture is. That's called your hero image. Look at your title, like with the blush dress where they put a lot of great information there with the sequins, the gray dress where they put the name of the dress. And again, it's style because it's a slip dress. And you can think of the same thing depending on what you're listing. The shoe, I actually just sold a pair of shoes. Um, you know, what's the style? It was an open toe. 
Open toe shows, shoes have different names depending on how much of the toe is showing. How do you find out? Very soon we can go on Pinterest. You can look on eBay because there's a lot of different open toe shoes and get an idea of what the open toe shoe style is called. Because that, again, what am I doing? I want to have that up in the title. So the person, when they're looking for that style or that heel style, it's a platform, okay? It's a stiletto, will find the item. So your picture, your title, and then, of course, your price. Now, I did want to point out that the first two listing to show this, again, this is best match. Best match is eBay's default search, which means it's the search they show shoppers unless the shopper goes in and starts filtering with uh, price and shipping lowest. OK, or starts to tag and they only want U.S. sellers or they only want sellers within a 20 mile radius of them, that kind of thing, is the first two placements were promoted listings. Promoted listings is pay per sale. The advanced promoted listing is pay per click, but regular promoted listings, promoted listing standard is pay per sale. It is changing as of March 30th, which is before to get the promoted listings fee, like those two dresses. Let's go back up to them. Those two dresses for the sellers to get charged the promoted listing fee. I would have to click on the dress and buy that exact dress within 30 days of my initial click. And then they would get a promoted listing fee. If prior to March 30th, I had clicked the seller's dress and then bought another dress from that seller, they would not be charged a promoted listing fee. That is changing as of March 30th. eBay will now factor in what is called halo sales, which means it's sort of a halo of opportunity is you click on the one item, I go into the person's other listings and they don't need to have a store. This is regardless of whether you have a store or not. And I buy something else from you. And the other item I buy from you is also promoted. Okay. I come in on promoted item one and buy an item that is in a promotion. I will pay the promoted listings fee on that second item. It's called a halo thing. Now I had a question from a seller where they said, well, I only do unique one of a kind. So it won't apply to me because typically my buyers only buy one thing. Oh, yes, it will. Because they'll come in on the one dress. They go, this really isn't for me. They look at another dress you have or a puzzle or a toy or a pair of shoes or a piece of jewelry. And the other item is in a promoted listings campaign. You will pay promoted listings fee on that second item. Okay. And if they buy something else from you, they buy a shirt. And then they buy a piece of jewelry and then they buy a puzzle and all the items are in a promoted listings campaign. You will pay a promoted listings fee on every single item that you buy from that seller from us. Why? Because the buyer found your first item in a promoted position which if you look on eBay search, whether it's a desktop or the app, it always says sponsored. If they're coming into you, okay, they're discovering you through a promoted listing and then they buy anything from you. I'm keep underlining this because I'm seeing a lot of bad information on this and I have checked with the team multiple times. If they buy any of your promoted items, you will pay the promoted listing fee because they are going to the item after first clicking an item in a sponsored position. I've got a great guide for you. It is absolutely free. It is on my website. I really encourage you to download this and to read it. It's not that long. It's winning with eBay promoted listings. I purposely really stuck to the point on this one. It's very short, but I've got four pages and I'm gonna tell you the pages to read. Pages eight through 11 all about the change and how it works and strategies that you can choose because it's totally by choice. You are not forced to do promoted listings. eBay certainly going to recommend certain rates, but you pick the rate that works for you. Okay. Is download the guide winning with eBay promoted listings. That's on my website. I love to be selling and go through it so that you know, and the reason to go through it so that you know, is that when this, the way they're calculating the fees changes, that you're not in sticker shock when you get your invoice. And that's why I wrote it. 
I use promoter listings. I will absolutely continue with promoter listings. I like promoter listings. It gets me sales. Yes, I'm paying for it. But you know what? Those first two placements in Best Match were from promoted listings placements. And yes, there were organic placements. So yay for that. But with promoted listings, it gives me more of a shot to show at those premium placements, those beginning placements. And that was in a very large search, 73,000 dresses. And the two that landed up at the top were both in promoted listings. So grab my guide. Uh, winning with eBay promoter listings so that you're absolutely know what's going to be going on and you can make the choice that's best for you. And that's what I always encourage people to do is learn what the rules are going to be, know what it is. So that way, when you hear wrong information, you just go, no, that's not, that's not accurate. <laughs> and that you know what's right so you can make the best choice for you. Diana saying, I pay for promoter listings. I won't stop using them either. I'm with you. I factor it into the cost of doing business. This is how what it is. And I factor it into what I'm charging. And that way I can afford promoter listings and also gets me to the top of placement and my items will sell faster. Better placement typically means more sales. The sooner I can sell my items, it means that cash is back in my pocket to pay for inventory, uh, to pay for household bills. But the sooner you can sell something, the better because when you have inventory, which we all have inventory that we love, your money is tied up in that inventory. So the sooner I sell it, and that's what Promoter Listings helps you with, the better. So grab the free guide and enjoy it. And I'm Kathy, and I love to be selling. Bye-bye, everybody.